Basile. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Shook my hand and gave me a hug. 
Hai că e mâscă. La variație. Și se. You reminded me about visualization. My mom used to tell me about it when I was a kid. Then he said a sentence. I'll never forget. He said, thank you for your words of wisdom. As I was climbing the stairs, I remarked words of wisdom. When I left the building, Inside, I felt bored. While walking to my car, it dawned to me. Those four people in that basement were not the only ones who were in a tight position. I was. That cold evening, I learned a whole lesson. For 10 years, I cursed fortune in the wrong direction. I crossed an ocean and arrived on the other side of the world. I was looking outside, way outside. The point is starting. New fortune. Lies. That fortune begins to shine only when the shape. <coughs> That's why Andrew Carnegie said, you cannot become rich without yourself reaching others. We all have this fortune within. And destiny has come to this great organization for a reason. That basement is not the only island waiting for words. The hunger for hope, encouragement, and inspiration is an omnipresent motion. As Mother Teresa said, there is more hunger for love and appreciation in this world than for The question is, how can we tap into this source? Marcus Sorrentos had a good answer. The thing we think is the We think is the web speed. It's always in our just thing. Look within your life story. Look within your moments of grief and glory. Look within your achievements earned. Look within your lessons learned. Look at it and find these words. And when you find these words, share. Let them shine. And as you let your inner light shine and send them somewhere else, you unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. And in this case, enlightened organization. <coughs> That brings us together. That brings our words to wisdom. That reminds us to bring these words Look to the person to the left and right of you and say to them, the world is waiting for your words of wisdom.
not get a chance to do that. So this is my opportunity. So I say thank you so much. Congratulations. The one thing Christian wanted me to do was have everybody in this room evaluate. We don't have enough time for it. But if you if you can send an email with what you thought about this speech, we're going to have this email up on the screen in a couple of minutes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Does it mean to create a plan? 
and work your plan through people. A third thing we gave people was a great insight. From our profession, we're known as an engineer. We have to be individual contributors. But in the realm of leadership, it's much greater than that. It gave me the ability and insight to learn a process to see how I can motivate other leaders and not do it all myself. For an example, because sometimes in certain fields, we're trained to use our mind and individually come up with a solution to try to implement that. And to my wisdom, I've learned sometimes one function may not form the same way in a different club or different strategy from that standpoint. So it can be a big, big view at a macro level in terms of using soft skills. So it gave me the great opportunity to try to apply some of the mechanical things that I've learned and also merge some of the soft skills of talking to each of the presidents understanding their goals, understanding uniqueness on each club because one club functions different, similar, different, but there are unique aspects to each club that there's no one cookbook approach. So in summary, it gave me the opportunity to build my confidence and work with other leaders in understanding how is the success pattern can be duplicated and third, it gave me the ability to learn and embrace that you can't do it all yourself. You have to empower people so they can capture the vision and be able to believe in themselves so they can be able to achieve your goals that you set as well as the club's goals. Thank you very much for this opportunity. We had time to bring one person up, one last person up, and going to talk to us about what Toastmasters has taught us. Deep by right hand. Yeah. 
It's a ghost mask. The men for a tree. Again, that part literally was free. Because people that know what Toastmaster stands for then expect you to perform as a Toastmaster. And that is one of the things it has done for me. It constantly raised the value of what was expected. And it is a stimulating and growing experience to practice the postmaster skills. We get conversations on the table here. When are you going to finish your CC? When are you going to finish your CL? And we really need to set goals. We've all known postmasters that were passionate. Yeah. <laughs> I said that I'm the power of the spirit in my high school. But you know what you and I need to do is take somebody by the hand, tap somebody on the shoulder. How about you giving your ice cream the next day? It works. I've done it over and over again. People that we are good toastmasters. If they get a personal encouragement, they will get to the point where they get enthusiastic about it. That's one of the things I love because I've had people as role models in my life that tap me on the shoulder. And one of them is sitting right there. <laughs> the person that asked the question. We kind of mutually encouraged ourselves. The first thing that Charles did when he said on the table was, what are you doing? When will you do that to the people on the table? Toastmasters have to be experienced in order to share that. Our speaker talked about sharing. But how can you share something that you have to experience yourself? So, that excitement. You have to get that experience and you have to share that challenge. See what Toastmasters has done for me? You can do the same thing. You can be the same person. You can receive the same rewards. And your challenges are never in there. You always have to set yourself goals. You, know, you might say, well, it's good for you to talk. You've been on the lead, you're not the right now. I always use the example of a concert pianist. A concert pianist is an accomplished musician, but he always goes back and plays the skills. Very basic and piano student does the first line. The same thing, and that's another thing that I have learned. We have to go back to another CC, to another CL. Set yourself challenges. Just recently I set myself a challenge to go to the CLs. I'm still not really embracing the trucks. I said, let me see how fast I can do a CL. And within two months, I only had two activities left to do the CL. That's why she said, you may not want to do that. But you need to set your goal. And you need to set your goal high up each time you do something. And then when Charlie comes along and says, well, I don't know. It's going to take me a long time to do all this. I've been there, I've done that. You can do it too. Thank you, Dean Mark, for that inspiring talk. Ski has one more reason to complete the skills after the break, right, Dean Mark? You look forward to it every six months. <laughs>